Hi, I'm Addy with Craft HTV, and today I'm going to be doing a little project. I'm going to be putting some vinyl on the inside of this lamp, and I'm going to be making a silhouette light. So today I'm going to be using our fairy tale permanent adhesive vinyl in white queen matte. Now I've already designed my SVG ahead of time, so I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting it. Um, I'm doing a floral design. So one of my favorite little hacks I've learned is for when you're cutting something with a lot of little details. Um, on a Cricut, you can set your dial to custom, and then there's a setting called washi sheet, and that will cut all the way through your vinyl, but also not tear up those little designs. Hack. So it doesn't really matter for this design because I'm only doing flowers. But if you're going to do something with words, um, you're going to be putting the vinyl on the inside of your lamp, so you will want to mirror your image in design space and cut it mirrored on your vinyl. For my lamp, I have already taken a cloth and cleaned out the inside so that I can make sure my vinyl sticks to it properly. And also, I want to shout out Crafting Should Be Messy on Instagram. She has so many good ideas and cute projects on her page, and she's actually where I got inspiration for this project. So I picked fairy tale vinyl to use today because we have a great selection of colors. It has everything you need. And also it's just a really affordable option. And so I wanted to use something that was really accessible to all of our customers. I have experimented with this SVG before, but I did it on a much smaller scale. And um, I didn't like it because it was way too small and the details on the flowers were way too small. And it just didn't weed well. So I'm pretty excited to try it on a bigger scale. and. Um, actually get to use these beautiful flowers I've picked out. So when I'm crafting and I'm waiting for a big project like this to cut out, I like to stalk our customers' social media pages, just kind of see what you guys have been up to and what kind of cute things you're making. So uh, make sure that you post all of your creations and maybe I'll share it on our stories. All right, now that this is finally done cutting, I am going to clear off my workstation and we will get weeding. Normally, if a project covers an entire sheet like this one, I will just like take the corner of the vinyl and just weed it, but this one has so many little details that I'm actually going to cut each shape out before I weed, just so I don't accidentally stick some extra vinyl on a piece and like peel it up by accident and then have to cut the whole thing again. And it's on white, so it's very hard to see, so bear with me. Okay, so if you're like me and you find yourself, um, even with these smaller pieces, still sticking the already weeded vinyl to your design, uh, just cut away the excess and stop trying to handle so much vinyl at once. It'll save you a lot of pain. I've weeded all of my flowers and now we get to do the fun part, which is putting it on our lampshade. So today I'm using the Transfer Right application tape. Now, transfer tape, you can reuse a couple of times. After a third time, it loses its stickiness quite a bit, and so it's a little bit harder to use, but it is definitely not a one-time use thing. Okay, I got seven uses out of this one little square before it started to not stick super well, so. Always use it until you can't anymore, so you don't waste any of your product. Make sure you're, uh, really pushing it down so you don't tear your design as you're pulling the application tape away. Okay, this is the last one. I cut a couple more than I actually needed. That's okay. Okay, now we can reassemble the lamp and it's the moment of truth. Okay, we have dimmed the lights and here we go. Yay, it's cute. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this craft, make sure you check out our other YouTube videos. And if you have any crafting questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. Thank you so much for watching.